This is going to be a tip for beginners who are just learning how to use Blender. And in this tip, I'm going to show you how you can create a curve and then have an object follow that path. This is really great for animating a camera through a scene because you, then you, you can just create the curve to go the path you want through the scene and then attach the camera to it and the movements will be nice and smooth. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and reload the startup file. In this case, go ahead and delete the cube if you have it because you will not need it. I'm going to press 7 to go on to top side view, then 5 to go on to orthographic view. First thing I want to do is add a curve and it's very simple. Click on add, curve, and then choose path. Now once you have your path added, press tab to go into edit mode, zoom in, and see these arrows? Those are the direct, that's the, the direction your animation or your object will travel along that curve. Now we want to make this curve longer so what what we need to do right click on this vertice right here and then press E the letter E on the keyboard to extrude and then just drag it with the mouse and then left click to drop E again to extrude left click to drop E to extrude left click to drop E to extrude, left click to drop, and we just continue that for the entire path that we want the object to take or the camera to take. And it's pretty much that simple. Now we know that this animation or this path will start right here and then end right here gonna go ahead and press tab to exit edit mode alright now let's add an object I'm just going to add a sphere mesh and a UV sphere I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller size 0.5 now I'm going to bring that to the beginning of that path alright now with the uh, sphere selected gonna shift and then right click on the curve so that both of them are selected and then press control P and it brings up this menu and then choose follow path once that's done you can come over here click on the curve icon in the properties panel and then down here you see frames this right here is the number of frames it takes to get from this location to follow around to the end. See at 100 frames it does it in roughly 4 seconds. Now I could change this to 250 and it does quite a bit slower. But there you go. Very simple. Hope some of you found that useful.